at UMKC and I'm here because I'm going to sign a basketball for the Kansas City Public Library's Bookatology uh, contest uh, and so come on in my office. Uh, the library told me that there was I'm not allowed to prep anything or clean anything up they want to see a working writer's office so this is it. Here's my desk I got it when I was a grad student at the University of Iowa. Key to any desk is big just be big Plenty of room for coffee cups, plenty of room for multiple drafts. Um, here uh, is a map of, uh, I'm writing a book about Iraq that's set in Iraq during the, current, the war that just ended. This is a map, I have a hand-drawn map of the AO area of operations where my characters are working. It's a map of Kansas where my characters are from. It's a painting here beside the desk that uh, watercolor of my grandfather's. Uh, it's, it's of the A-frame, an A-frame, a hunting cabin that is a setting in my first novel, The Huntsman. Up above you'll see there's a painting photograph of my grandfather and grandmother. Uh, I like to have visual cues around the desk of stuff I'm writing on, so you'll see that there's some pictures here of soldiers in Iraq that I took when I was on a reporting trip there in 2006. I got a drawer full of those. Um, here's a uh, all of my reporting notebooks from those trips uh, to Iraq I've written for the Washington Post and NPR and Slate Magazine. Uh, I was in Iraq in 2006-2010. So come on in, come on in. Uh, this is the play area of the office. Books here to read, uh, nonfiction stuff, old drafts of manuscripts, um, pictures from my son. Here's a, a map of the uh, uh, camp where my soldiers are, are in the novel, uh, stolen from Google Earth. This is the uh, weirdest thing in the office, the thing that most people probably haven't even seen. It's a manual royal typewriter. It's given to me by my great aunt, whose husband used it. He was blind. He wrote poetry. And uh, I used to do first drafts on a typewriter because uh, I can't stop, I can't edit. I have to go forward, and also a typewriter doesn't have a screen, so when I'm visualizing something, I'm not looking at a screen, I can, you know, just imagine that sort of the space that I'm trying to see. Uh, it's not an affectation. I, I grew up on typewriters, and I find it just a lot easier to do first drafts. Then you edit everything on the computer later. The library asked me to talk to you about uh, one of the writers I like to read while I'm working. Uh, I like to read student stories, is what I do mostly read while I'm working, and Reading them is surprisingly helpful because you've got to enunciate to your students, well, okay, this doesn't work, why? Or this works, here's why. And if you have to talk openly about your principles of writing to students, you can think, am I, am I using them in my own work properly? Um, so I find that to be one of the most helpful things. Secondly, I read John McPhee, who was one of my teachers uh, in college. He's a great nonfiction writer. And even though I write fiction, John is really good at structure. It's my weakest point. So I look at his books, at their structures, and see what I can borrow, what I can learn from as I'm working. Uh, here's the uh, internet computer in the office. Dangerous to have one. Not allowed to have an internet computer on the desk, uh, but I do have one here. Here's my son's uh, ukulele. We play a little guitar in here on off hours. My guitars, I used to play in high school. My son demanded that I get them out again. All right, so that's the full tour of the office. Um, I'm going to sign the basketball now. I'm Rue. I've been seven years at UMKC. Love the university. Very proud of it. If we were doing bracketology for MFA programs or English departments, they'd be in the final four in my view. But when it comes to basketball, I do have a hereditary obligation to a certain university around here. So I'm going to go change my shirt and sign the ball. While we're here, I just want to say that we're filming this on the Saturday before Kansas's first Final Four game. I did not go to KU, but my dad did, and so did my granddad. I brought my father's shirt over for this specific video, and I'm going to say, Go Hawks! It is much harder to sign a basketball than you would expect, certainly than a book. You have to press. Ah! All right. Had to come out. 
It'll be all right. Is it dark enough? Mm-hmm. Okay. You say you want me back.